So I've got a newer Auric here, which the scrappers cut the cord off of, as usual. Not only did they cut off the bottom piece, which is only about four, three and a half, four feet, they cut off the regular cord as well. So I have to replace from here down to here, as well as put in the normal cord that goes around the hooks up here. So not only that, it did include a brand new unused HEPA bag that was folded up and stuffed inside of the outer bag. The outer bag, I'm not sure what exactly happened, but if I had to guess, they had put the inner bag on wrong. They lost the bag dock or lost whatever part of that was supposed to be there. And uh, it filled up the entire bag with dirt and debris. So I just insided it out. I vacuumed it. I've still got a little bit more, but I spent about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, just cleaning out all the crap out of there. And I uh, decided that was enough for the day, so I stopped. But all I need to do now is just clean it up and go over some details and should be good to go. But with this machine, we can get started and replace this section of the cord that goes up to the handle. So what we're gonna do first is gain access to the bottom of this machine. And first I'll take this bag off. And what I love about these Oryx, any of them that they've made over the years, they're all pretty much the same thing. They're very simple to take apart in service. In fact, as far as cheap, somewhat disposable vacuums go, and I use that very loosely with these, these are some of my favorite machines to work on. So we've got some dirt and grit. Now, in order to get to the cord, if I remember correctly, we have to kind of dislodge the motor and uh, undo the fan chamber a little bit. Both of these screws. And then for this part of the duct right here, intake, whatever you want to call it, you just undo that screw. And then with a little bit of wiggling, and I'm just going to take the outer handle off. These are reverse threaded. that so you'll see it didn't go entirely as planned because the fan did not want to completely separate but Either or, we're still good. Push the fan back down. Put that star washer back on. And the nut. Got plenty of animal fur. 
And here's the important part. You want to remember how this thing mounts back in. And this, it had the logo here facing up. It says it's an Amatec motor, which are decent motors. But we'll go ahead and just kind of move these to the side. Because the only wires we need to care about are these. So what we're going to do is just cut these right where they sit. And then we'll shorten them and re-terminate them. So leave the motor like that. And now we have this little square retainer that we need to remove. For these, I like to use a long pair of needle nose and that allows me to collect, um, compress both of the clips in. And then we have to get at the small one at the bottom. So I've got the two new cords, I guess, all patched in. Redid the switch wiring, redid this wiring. So it's pretty simple, I just reused this. Now the uh, old, um, the old cord that came off of it was slightly thicker, but on these machines, I don't think this is too much of a big deal. Definitely, if I had a bigger cord, I would have used it, but with these little Oryx, it's only got like a five amp motor in it. It's really not a big deal. And now I'm just going to uh, start piecing it all back together. And uh, this really wasn't meant to be a how-to video. If you want to see how to replace the cord on any Oryx machine, I have videos on how to do that. Check the description if I remembered to put them in. But we're just going to make sure that's in the correct spot. And here can be kind of the uh, tricky part, but what I like to do is kind of support the bottom of the handle with my hand. Make sure everything is mostly gonna stay in position. And just put the top part back on. And use your screwdriver. So now I just need to grab the outer bag, throw that back on. We'll try it out. All right, so brand new Auric HEPA bag. What I like about these is they have the gasket. So let's see if we can get this on. Something tells me I'm gonna have to source a bag dock for this machine because that's likely why it was thrown away. remember where I left off with this thing in that video that I did the this is the second part of this video and those other clips that I had had before I shot those months ago five six months ago and I stopped working on this thing because uh, the uh, bag zipper was stuck I was actually able to fix that somehow And how I did that was I had had it completely unzipped. It's kind of tight now, but that's uh, part of how I fixed it. But I had it completely unzipped over here on the other side. And you can kind of see some of the indentations I made where I adjusted this. It was not closing the zipper correctly. So I think I still have to adjust it just a little bit and bring these arms out. Uh, not too much though, because I don't want to have the same issue again. But this zipper was basically like up here or over here and it'd be open on both sides and you don't want that. So thankfully I didn't have to buy a new bag and I was able to fix this zipper. Uh, I don't really like the aftermarket bags for these Oryx. And I was able to find another one of these that was in the same condition but a good working zipper. 
uh, for about 30 bucks on eBay, but I'd rather not spend 30 bucks if I don't have to. So this machine still does need some work. And I've had a soft spot for Oryx for years, ever since I've been messing with um, appliances and vacuums and stuff. They're just so simple. Parts are so cheap for them. And uh, they do a decent job on low pile carpet and hard floors to an extent. Um, but if, for hard floors, they have to have this squeegee on here. If they don't have that, it's pretty useless on hard floors. So what I'm doing right now is, uh, let's just move that out of the way. But I've been trying to clean off these wheels because they've got, you know, junk and crap all over them. I clean this one off. Uh, these two larger ones need to be cleaned the pens up. are all in really good shape. Other than just being dirty from just being out here in the shop for months, uh, it's really not in that bad of condition. I do need to pull out the brush roll. I'll do that right now. The good thing is it's not loose inside the housing at all because they do get loose in here over time. Unfortunately, that is a normal part of owning an Auric, but this motor is in really good condition. These brushes are so cheap, it's almost a non-issue. And I don't like these white bristles anyways. The ones with the red bristles are far superior to these. So I don't think I have another one on hand. I think I'm going to have to buy one. But uh, anyways, I'm going to clean up the housing here with my vacuum, clean these wheels up, then I'll meet you guys the next part of this video. So sacrificial shop rug. Let's see how it runs. Seems to work okay. It's a little hard to push, but that's because that brush roll is really worn out. Still picked up plenty of stuff though. So I got a brand new brush roll from Amazon. We'll finally finish up this video. Just to remove the base plate. It's removed. So then get rid of the belt brush roll. Actually, this belt's still good, so I'm just going to use it. quite a bit better with that new brush roll. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more.